Hey yo, what go on my beautiful people? Zion coming at you again after a long rest. You know, let me just apologize for my MIA. It was beyond my control. Of course, I made a, a post that you know, folks know a little bit of why I, you know, have been missing. But um, I'm here now, right? So um, yeah. So back to business, right? Back to business. So after a long rest, we are going to kick things off by doing a simple tutorial on, you know, simple but effective. We're going to do a tutorial on understanding reggae, the basics, right? Because, of course, I know you've all seen a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials all over on YouTube and different platforms and, you know, people trying to play reggae, but, you know, they really have the wrong concept and everything is just off. So let's deal with the those simple details that can really do some damage to, to reggae music you know the image and everything so grab your guitars let's go what i have here i have here a track that i built right it's raw it's not mixed or anything but i do not want you to pay attention to you know the fact that it's not mixed or anything because that's not what we're concentrating on i'm just using this as guidance right so the first lesson and what a lot of people get confused with like whenever they're trying to approach um reggae first timers you know the timing always messed them up the timing always messed them up they always um, it's weird because it's something that they're not used to so they consider it as you know oh, this music is weird or whatever right so um pop music r&b and most of these different genres they start on the one meaning the drum pattern they just start everybody start together right here's an example <laughs> Yeah, and that was um, Never Too Much by the great Luther Vandross, you know. Yeah, I play different genres, <laughs> so just so you guys can know. Um, so, but with reggae, it's different, right? Reggae, the, car, the, the guitar and the keyboard and other instruments drop on the and. So when I say and, so I'm trying to make it transparent. I'm trying to make it very simple for you folks to understand. So if it's going to go, we start one two three and one two and three and four and five but one whatever however you folks count right so remember the guitar is going to drop on the and again one and that's where the guitar falls all right so here's an example of what i mean all right so when you listen to this here's a kick and the hi-hat all right so even though this is a straight four, you can hear that um, this one is called a straight four, right? And if I should give you this the regular one, let's let's do the regular one. Let's get rid of the straight four. And I want to make it more simple, all right? See that? Okay. So to go one and 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 that's the guitar. All right. So let's get rid of the the, the hi hat. Even if you're doing a double scan, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. You understand what I mean? I hope that clears it all up. The reggae is on the half, like they will say half beat on the downstroke, whatever they want to say. But this is an example. This is what it sounds like, you know? This is it. One, and, and, that, clap. That's reggae. That's how you count reggae. All right? That is how you count reggae. Now, of course, sometimes the, the, the kick is going to change. Like I said, it's a... So let's get rid of that one. And let's use a straight four. All right? Sometimes people call it steppers. All right? Goes like this. But it's still on the and. So it goes like this. right it's still the same all right so be mindful of that so now that we have all that cleared up right let's talk about 
a few little things that people do when they're playing reggae. Now, if you want to play reggae music first, you need to listen to a lot of reggae. Listen to the authentic reggae music, not these ones. And remember, dancehall is an, it's a stem from reggae. You know, it's just an extension. It's not really full reggae. All right, so listen to, go back to the 80s, go back to the 70s, listen to reggae music. Listen from Rocksteady, come all the way down. All right, so now, some simple things that people do on this instrument and guitar that that drives us crazy us reggae players reggae 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 musicians it drives us crazy it's a disrespect all right reggae music is a very serious music also so be mindful of that you know and um so yeah so the first one the strumming pattern right well it actually it's all about the strumming pattern people tend to just pick up a guitar and just think like oh yeah it's reggae and yeah man and whatever it's not like that pay some respect please right so the first thing so let me play this track so you guys can hear you know a very famous reggae track you know i built it over A lot of people are going to approach this stuff now. Like, they think that probably it's, it's just reggae. So, now nah, you just pick up a guitar and we just play. No, it's not like that. Right? It's about the feel. It's about putting yourself in the midst of the, putting yourself in the music. It's the feel, my people, the feel. You have to have that. Else it's not going to sound you cannot just copy it. You have to live it a little bit. You have to know it. You have to study the music. All right? So, here's one common wrong thing they do. First strumming pattern. So, let's play this. Here it is. For the love of God, do not do that. <laughs> do not do that. Reggae is not on the upstroke. It's on the down. It's always the down. All right? So, please, do not do not do that. It's very irritating and disrespectful. It's, you know, so, it's on the down. All right? Many people are going to play like... Some, some crap like that. You know what I mean? You know, I don't want to curse. This is how serious I take my music. Right? If you are going to play it, it's... And it's not a... Procre you're not going to play it. Very, this is another common one. Let, listen to how it would sound on the, on, on the rhythm. Listen to it. Now they get the downstroke right, but they do this. And it just sound awful. The correct way is, here we go. You want to add a little bit of double stops and those stuff. You can slide. So what I'm doing there to get this sound, you want to, when you strike, right, you squeeze and release almost instantly. So you're going to squeeze and you're going to release the pressure. But when you release the pressure with this hand down here, you want to keep it there. Because if you keep, if you press long, 
you're gonna get the long the legato if you press and lift real quick right so that thing that you hear in the back like it's traveling that's just the reverb all right so so let's take this reverb off just to show you folks what i mean now that is dry all right so if you press long you're gonna get legato right so once you press and release almost instantly but still keep the fingers there you just want to release the pressure you are going to get that that's reggae and if you want to be sure that it really stops then you can use a palm also so once you do that the palm comes back there and stop it okay so wrong way wrong right all right our chord progression sometimes i go up but that's just like a little scratching that's a little bit of you know sugar i'm adding right there you know but i already move on the down all right if you get what i mean okay so please be mindful of those now for the second one the second most irritating thing people do all right the double skank all right double skank is one of my favorite that is when i get to use my wah pedal and i can really get to add some slides and some whatever get i get creative with that right so it's my favorite right and even sometimes when the um, the song is originally a one you know one strike i still play double skank right i love it that much so people who do not understand do stuff like this c to d minor all right and at times you can hear them scratching on it Even though sometimes they get the direction of how you should strum reggae and where you should start, not the up, but the down, they're still playing some stuff that they're not supposed to. And it simply means they're not paying attention or you're not paying attention. All right. So I guess that's why I'm here. I'm teaching. Right. <laughs> so um, the correct way, here it is. You know what I mean? That is what, that is the right way. Now, how I get this is basically the same thing as the first one. You want to strike and you want to release the pressure, right? The same amount of time that you strike with this hand when you're going down and up, you're going to do the same with this hand. But remember, apply the pressure and release it. Just release it. Don't take the hand up fully. This is going to ring out. Cool. So it's going to... So now I'm doing. So you can hear it right there. So. All right. So here is how it would sound on the rhythm. Here is the wrong way. Right way.
And that is the right way to play the double skank. Like I said before, it's the same thing as the first one. You just want to press, you're doing one down, one up. You want to press one, two, one, two, one, two. All right? That's the only time you do an up, really, for reggae. Please remember that. Please pay attention. And there are a lot of other stuff that um, people do that really makes it not so much of reggae, you know, but I'm not going to really spend much time on that. I'll try to spend time on the ones that really destroys the music. All right? So, yeah. So, that's it. Remember, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Remember to always hit the like button. Hit the like button. It is important to me, YouTube, the algorithm and everything. This is how YouTube know that, okay, this video is doing well, so let me suggest it to some more people. All right? And that is how you support me. Also, do not skip the ads. The ads are there for a reason. All right? So, don't get agitated. Go and grab yourself a drink or something and come back let it play out you know because again that is how you support me all right my name is zion blessed love peace out see you next time